or foot pegs, the foot rests like that, like many of you suggested when I first put it together, because remember the flat side went forward, and we're going to see how well that works. Yeah, pretty. Okay, now I'm going to put the seat on here, don't have the engine in there yet, but uh, well guys, she's all done, look at that. Gameplay is just an excuse for those who can't handle reality. Somebody send me a bottle of a uh, homemade yummy yum. Uh huh. Obviously, it's quite empty. Yep. This is homemade stuff right there. That was from Steiny. Steiny made some of that for me. I got some stickers made up. Some of you have seen on my Facebook. I got these stickers made up. I posted it a few weeks back. And these little ones right here. I only have a few of these left, so I can't really be handing these out right now. So. See? Got that sticker on the bike. Yeah, I also, when I went down and got those stickers made, I also had some uh, cards made up also. These things are very handy. So those of you out there who are looking to broaden your channel, having something like this is awesome. I always carry about five or six of them around my wallet, so that way, you know, I don't have to tell people, you know, to write it down or something like that to come and check out my channel or anything. I've got a card that I can hand off to them and they've got it. Hush, get out of here. Got some half-inch hem joints. Left-handed and right-handed. That's pretty cool. Now I'm only going to be using four of these, and I end up getting eight, so, yeah, just in case anything happens with these, I've got extras. And we also got this right here. Got a new computer. Yeah, it's pretty nice, pretty decent. Just put all my cameras up there. Can't find my other GoPro camera, though. Somewhere around here. Three, two, one. There we go. They seem to be pretty bright. Now these are not the uh, regular white LEDs. This is called soft white. Awesome. Keep going. Remember, you have to go faster. Go faster. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. Oh, the pedal got on there. Ready, set, go. Come on, go fast. Go fast. Oh, almost made it that time. Ha <laughs> yeah. Well, we got the tires in today. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that awesome? Uh-huh, got it going on now. This is gonna be such a monster. Now when I bought these tires, they did not come with rims. So I had to contact them and ask them if they could give me rims for them too. And with the width of these tires, it's gonna make this thing a little bit difficult to turn. So I wanted to make sure that I had enough grip in the front end. 
because like so many of you know that the wider end you have with a live axle makes the rest of the machine a little difficult to turn. Now when it comes to the ride height of this, I'm kind of up in the air. I'm not really too sure what I want to do. The first tires that I was going to use on this were these. You can see that they literally, the spindle literally fits inside the tire, so. But unfortunately, I'm not going to be using these tires. I'm going to be using uh, the Harbor Freight 20 inch trailer tires. I keep, you know, I'll come up with an idea. I'll be like, okay, that's cool. And then I start, I draw it out on paper before I take too much time into the CAD. And then I'm like, eh, I don't like that design. I think it's just gonna come down to me going, all right, screw it, that's enough. <laughs> we did get a new engine for it. And that's in, that's over on my other channel. Yeah. So I'm um, keeping my eyes open for any more shocks like this. Uh, that's what I'm looking for. About using both panels, both rear panels of both riding mowers and building a little quad with them. And that's what I've been wondering about. I think that'd be kind of cool. What do you guys think? Yeah, I think that's kind of neat. If I were to do that with it. Uh, with those panels. It sure definitely looks the part, don't it? I think that'd be kind of a neat idea.